Well, it is now time for our reporter's cut where we highlight all the stories our reporters have been working on. Now, this is a story you will only see on nine. The FBI says a Venezuelan gang called Tren de Aragua has made its way to the borderland. Yeah, that's right. This rapidly expanding gang has spread throughout South America and now into our communities, posing a threat to borderland families. Our Oriana Batoro reports. The fastest growing transnational criminal organization known as the Tren de Aragua is a Venezuelan gang that has now infiltrated its way into the United States through various sectors of the U.S.-Mexico border. That here in El Paso, um, Tren de Aragua, gang members who are identified are put into prosecution uh, pathways for 1325 illegal entry into the United States. So the theory is, is that the Venezuelan government is sending over its worst criminals to hurt the United States of America. This is what the FBI believes. And if the FBI is telling us that's what Venezuela is doing, that's what Venezuela is doing. We spy on every single country in the world, especially our enemies. According to a CNN report from Border Patrol, 38 suspected members from the Tren de Aragua have been arrested between 2022 and 2023. When they come to a new place, they do it uh, oftentimes through immigrant pathways, taking advantage of people from within their own community. Tren de Aragua is taking advantage of the mass Venezuelan exodus to make their way into the country, and now they are ramping up crime in U.S. cities like Miami and Chicago. They typically operate mostly on migrant smuggling and human trafficking. Those are their two big um, uh, crim criminal enterprises. But why exactly are they a threat to the borderland? They also use forms of uh, extortion by by going to local businesses that are owned by these migrant communities. And if they don't pay a tax, uh, they extort that money from them. This can bring an increase in crime into our community, including human smuggling and sex trafficking. And so the same thing that's happening, what's happening in South America, um, is now going to start happening here in the United States amongst these Venezuelan communities in the U.S. Another reason that I actually believe this is a legitimate scheme by the Venezuelan government is because look at the demographics. Who are the illegal immigrants? They are 15 to 40 year olds, mostly men, 80% men, prime years of criminality. Most gang members are men ages 15 to 40 years old. I'm sick of hearing the claim that, oh, illegal immigrants, they commit less crime than the average American citizen. Yeah when you compare all the demographics of America, but if you specifically compare it to whites and Asians, I guarantee you, I am 99% sure that illegal immigrants commit more crime than whites and Asians. The main issue being that the Tren de Aragua is almost operating in the shadows, making it harder for law enforcement to track them. We have no idea on who they are because we don't have their criminal records from Venezuela. And a lot of times they also, because they operate with impunity inside of Venezuela, the only other uh, way that we'd be able to do it is if they had a criminal record either in Colombia or Peru. And with the historic numbers in record crossings, many of these gang members could continue making their way into the country. I can't tell whether that, that man that comes across the border is either a criminal or an, af an actual refugee. And because of that, we're just releasing everybody with each other. We did reach out to Border Patrol agents to see if they could disclose any information regarding the Tren de Aragua, but since this is an ongoing investigation, there's not much that they can share with us at this time. Reporting from the U.S.-Mexico border, Oriana Botaro, KTSM 9. Just one reason out of the many reasons why we need to do something about the border immediately.